What's up, Yens? This week on Car Dad Bill, 2022 Volvo V90 Cross Country B6 All Wheel Drive. They call this a mild hybrid because it recharges the battery when you're going down hills and when you're braking. This is a great wagon. Wagons are awesome. Car dads and dads alike. Let's unite under the, the umbrella of the wagon. Let's bring it back and let's go for a ride. Subscribe to the channel. I love it. Let's go. smell in the Volvo is top-notch um, great layout comfortable seats and enough room in the back and the, the style and everything has worn on me since I've since I saw it the first time but that was my impression and the other impression was as soon as I drove down the road um, it felt so luxurious I, I immediately fell in love with it let's get to the review all right guys standing outside the Volvo and it's awesome love the wagon love the wagon shape love these size wheels and love how it the stance is just very symmetrical and even and it has a great hatchback back end for the wagon up front here super intelligent headlights the Thor's hammer running lights fog lights at the bottom your camera up front as well I'm okay with the color it's a little subtle, but I'm okay with it. Love the shape again. Love the roof line. Around back are fluid tail lights that come down and wrap. Really smooth. Your uh, light or the um, wiper that's on the back there. It kind of disappears in the back end. Let's hop inside and take a look. All right, guys, getting in the Volvo. Start it up. The start stop is right here. And some of the sequences that happen when the car turns on, it's fairly simple stuff. Your, your map syncs up. I have the map in the center there. Tachometer, I'm sorry, tachometer's over here. And then your speedometer's over here with a digital readout in the middle of that. Let's get that glare out of there if, you, if I can, so you guys can see what the display looks like and it's telling me I'm low on gas. Um, I like this gauge cluster. This tells you when it shuts off. This tells you when it's charging when you're driving. And when you use the brake, that's when it charges. So otherwise, look at this interior. It's really spectacular. It's really well laid out. It has a really great design to it. I love the material layer, you know, leather up top, this awesome wood grain. And it wraps around, like look at this wood grain. It's like a 3D ledge of wood grain down to the aluminum on the sides for your speakers, door handle. Soft leather here, leather wrapped steering wheel that's heated, has a couple levels of heating and I'll show you that, that stuff when we get there. Then in the center here, I love the vents and how they, they have like the waterfall down to very um, limited buttons down here. Just your hazards, your defrosters, and some radio controls. Then you have an SD slot on the other side. Then down here, super clean, wood grain slides back for a little cubby hole with a little charging port. And then this side slides back. <clears throat> and it's very, you know, good size cup holders. And then your wireless charging capability right there. Look at this gear selector. Look at that like 3D, very like art studio design, right with the start stop as well. And then your parking brake, you have the parking brake and then your auto hold um, down there. 
So really clean design. I like to keep this closed as much as possible just cause it's somewhere to like rest your hand and it's just a great interior. Uh, I like it because it's so clean and uncluttered. This takes some getting used to. Home screen takes you back to your basic, basic uh, groups, your maps, your media, your car play, and then the actual car itself. Down here are your controls for the HVAC. When you press that button, it comes up with a new screen where the vents are at, you know, how you want to circulate everything, vent speed and temperature. So you can actually, you know, have a dedicated area at the bottom of the screen for that. Then you can simply hit the side here. These give you your apps. So like your maps and then all of your Bluetooth things there. So it's, it's not too, too bad. It's pretty straightforward. And once you get used to it, then you know where to go for things. And just like anything else, you know, just takes a little bit of experience. Let's look at the back seats real quick. One thing I forgot to show you is all of this stuff is now touch. So all these lights are now touch lights and then touch for the middle for all the lights. But then this is also touch. And then you can just touch it to stop it. Isn't that cool? Back seats, let's check this out. Not too, too bad. I actually like the space that's back here. Hockey sticks don't fit, obviously, so I had to put them down the middle. But Anna has easy access to the tethered uh, seat belts, static seat belts. She can plug in just fine. Kids have some uh, charging capability back here, as well as their HVAC controls and heated seats in the second row. Same door design, really nice wood, privacy screen. Coming around back, love these lights that are always on. Up underneath. And then we have a decent storage area back here. And, and the reason I say that is that's a medium sized hockey bag. And there's still plenty of room for another one, another one, and another one. Um, youth sticks fit flat in the back, good size. And then those fold down 60-40 as usual. Uh, and you have some space under here as well for some stuff, but I don't have anything there. And you have some tie down areas as well. Not a bad rear storage area. Let's get on the road. Real quick, I like cars that option to give you this option. This is just to shut the trunk. And then this is actually to shut the trunk and then lock it. So when you walk away, if you hit the lock one, it'll close. You have the key in your pocket. You walk away and it locks. All right, guys, some of the numbers on the Volvo, and I was actually shocked. Well, not technically, not totally shocked, because I know Volvo has gone towards those two liter turbo engines. So that's what's in this. Two liter, four cylinder turbo engine, but it's an eight speed automatic. But that turbo is mated to that automatic transmission and it produces almost 300 horsepower, produces 310 pound feet of torque. That, my friends, is plenty of torque for a vehicle this size, even if you're fully loaded up. The um, mild hybrid section of the powertrain, what that means is, is it return, returns power back to the batteries that run all of the electrical systems in the car while you're driving. So when you're braking or going down hills and you're gliding, it's using that kinetic energy back into the car. And I'm all for that. It doesn't have anything to do with the drivetrain, so it's not producing power for you to go forward or propel, propel the vehicle forward. So don't get it confused with that. So the MPG numbers for this one, average, they say, of 25 miles per gallon. I'm averaging about 23 and a half, which is not far off, and it's pretty decent for a two liter that's, that's being boosted as much as it is, basically, to get that 310 pound-feet of torque. Um, MSRP on this one is 55,000. After you add the climate lounge and the um, advanced packages, now you're talking about $66,000 with extra options. Total bottom line number is 66,000. Um, 
I have a lot of friends that like wagons and I have a lot of like other dad friends that love wagons and they all saw this in the driveway and all their tongues were hanging out. And when I told them the price of it, it shied some of them away, but then some of them that are kind of like Volvo loyalists and like had one growing up or something like that, they love it. And I have to say at the end of the day, we'll talk about that in a minute, but 66,000 bottom line, that gives you, that's the add to as tested price. That gives you the climate lounge and advanced packages, which is like some of the heated seats, heated steering wheel, the panoramic sunroof, the sound system, stuff like that. Um, but let's get to the pros and cons. Let's talk about how this thing drives. So I'm gonna start with my favorite things. Um, and there, and it's quick and to the point really. It's, it's the overall package that the cross country gives you. Um, I really, really love how you, as soon as you get in the vehicle, you feel a connection to it. Um, it's a really nice place. It's very serene in here. It's very quiet in here. Um, I really didn't listen to the stereo system too, too much while I had this vehicle. Um, I really just enjoyed how quiet it was. And I liked the features of the interior, the lighting at nighttime. And when I had passengers in the vehicle, it's just a nice place to be and talk. The other thing about this is it's a wagon. So, I'm not looking at this as a performance vehicle. I'm not trying to go zero to 60 in under three seconds. I'm not trying to go through the slalom 100 miles an hour as fast as I can. This is a wagon Volvo air ride suspension. I'm looking at this more of like a, a luxury sedan, um, a car that you just waft down the road in. And really that's what it ends up being. So I just stopped at the red light it stops if the engine shuts off and you run on that power that you just gathered from the braking and, and the rolling around. So it kind of saves that energy, puts it back into the vehicle. I like that aspect of it as well. So along the same lines, it's the overall comfort. The steering is on par, it's perfect, well balanced, good feedback and very assisted. Um, good heated seats, good heated steering wheel. Uh, once you get used to the HVAC system and, and the different infotainment systems inside, it's, it's seamless integration with your phone. I love the center console here, the driver's instrument cluster that has the navigation and all your digital readouts. Very clean design, easy to read. Comfortable in the back for the kids. The kids had no problem. Um, my dad sat back there. He said it was a good size back there as well. Um, I can carry all my stuff. It's all wheel drive. And I can get it in a Polestar R design, you know, kind of a sporty exterior package, which would make this look a little bit more aggressive. And I think that would be better overall for my personal taste. I'm going to get on the highway up here. I want you guys to hear the engine. It's one of those things. As you drive this thing, you get more confident with it. You realize that it's very flat in the, in the turns. It's very predictable. It's very insulated in here. It sounds solid, you know? And then when you step on the throttle, you have that, that seemingly little two liter turbo and it lights up 310 pounds of torque and it sounds wonderful. And it gets you right up to highway speed. It's perfect. It's the perfect like marriage of power with this size vehicle. It's all you need no more and then once you're at highway speeds cruising down the highway it is very very well behaved great road manners it doesn't float like high it does float along but you float along at a controlled speed and you have control of the car and I drove it in the rain on the highway a few times and uh, same thing you just feel planted to the road and I just, I'm showing my age and I'm showing that I'm a dad, but love, love, love the Volvo V90 cross country mild hybrid. Thumbs up, real cars, real people for real life. Car Dad Bill, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.